So, uh, yeah, just first looking back at the Jimmy Open, just tell us a little bit about how things went for you guys and just how that kind of affects the preparation going into uh, Bison Open. Um, you know, we felt pretty good overall um, about how the guys competed, you know. I um, think they showed great, really good effort, uh, fight, and um, I think our, our conditioning looked pretty good. I think we were able to use that to our advantage in, in a number of different matches. Um, so, you know, nothing major that I saw that we really need to fix um, or anything that we're, we're really worried about or anything like that. It's just uh, um, we just you know, want to keep getting better each week, and so we want to see um, some guys clean some things up this week. We're going to be kind of focused on those individuals that competed and watching some film with them um, and, and just keep moving forward. So I was really happy with um, our bonus points. We, we, I think we had 15 pins on the day um, and a number of different tech falls and, and major decisions, which um, you know, I think is, is better than we've done in the past you know, in that sense. So, yeah, overall, pretty happy. Yeah, talking about like the early film study. I mean, how technically sound is this team right now, given that like, it's so early? Um, I think we're. I think we're. I feel good about where we're at technically, um, and I think we we need to clean a couple things up with some some match strategy kind of things. Um, you know, wrestling on the edge of the mat, um, uh, attacking at the end of periods. Some of those things um, that we we need to kind of uh, you know keep improving on a little bit. But I, I'm pretty happy with how our, our guys are wrestling on the technical side. How's the competition level kind of compare between Jimmy and NDSU? Well, I think the Bison Open won't have quite as many um, participants, um, so a little bit smaller, and then we'll see you know, some of that D1 competition. Um, so probably a little bit tougher on that, you know, on that end as well. Smaller brackets, but, but probably a little bit, a little bit tougher um, in that sense. So. How tough is it knowing that uh, you like to have Jordan out there a little bit doing roll around a little bit? Yeah, I mean that's you know that's that's sort of the uh, what, what we got to deal with with him, and um, it's just good to see him doing well out on the football field right now. And I know last year's first open was the Dragon Open, um, so we kind of have that um, as a little bit of a goal. We'll see. Um, we have we wrestle Mary before that. I don't know if he'll be ready for that or not, um, but yeah, we're we're excited to get him back for sure. With the number of uh, with the number of pins and tech balls that you did have, is that something that you're going to look forward to more throughout the year? Like, does that raise your expectations? Absolutely. We that's one of our big issues in the past is, you know, we've we've lost quite a few dual meets where we split five and five in the matches, but we lose on on bonus points, and so that's something we're really working hard to change that ratio um, and, and get a lot more falls, get a lot more bonus points, but also being a lot more stingy on on giving those up. You we can't accept, um, you know, giving up, giving up the pin. So um, I'm really happy with that, and we want to keep building on that. Do you think having Jordan unavailable this early in the season, or for this early stage of the season, could be a benefit to kind of see uh, where some of your other guys are at? Yeah, um, yeah. I, and uh, Jake Belland um, competed this weekend at heavyweight for us, and he he did he did a pretty good job. Um, I think he I think he ended up third. Um, I want to say. Um, and uh, so he looked pretty good, and, and so those guys are going to get a little bit of extra experience. And, you know, Jordan will be fine. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know, I think obviously we shrink his season down a little bit, but I think that, that keeps him pretty pretty hungry, and, and when, when he gets a chance to get out there, he takes advantage of it. How about for your experienced wrestlers? Do you feel that they've, this past week, showed that they're taking that leadership role? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Keegan, uh, you know, all our captains, I think older guys had, had pretty good tournaments, and um, so we're, we're pretty happy with where they're at. And, and I think, you know, I think the younger guys look to them, you know, in terms of the, their intensity when they compete and, and their fight they show out on the mat. And um, so that's, you know, that's exactly what we, we need from, from those guys.